Hello, it's Don Michelle from Boho Tarot, and today we're going to be taking a look at the dream reading cards from Rockpool Publishing. So this is a new, a relatively new oracle that was sent to me from the wonderful people at Rockpool Publishing to check out. And this is the dream reading cards, Awaken Your Intuitive Subconscious. So it comes in a nice um, hardback box, has a lovely magnetic flap, which is always really nice. Um, I love the inside. It's got a wonderful uh, guidebook with it, and there is a, another book, which we'll actually take a look here at the end, which they did also send to me as well. Um, inside the box, we have this uh, kind of plasticky silver tray here, and the cards actually did come wrapped with a little plastic thing, which I've taken off so that we can see them. And you can see there are two different sets here. We have Oracle cards and Dream cards, so we'll take a look at those, which is really quite interesting. So the dream reading cards are an inspiring set of cards that takes you step by step through the meaning of your dreams and how to apply them to your waking life. This beautiful set of 52 cards will help you understand your dreams. The 22 theme cards explain the most common dream scenarios from flying to landscapes to intimacy. The 30 reading cards and accompanying guidebook help you uncover the messages your subconscious mind is sending you through your dreams and they give you valuable insights into your real life. So before we dive into the actual book, I'm gonna, let's take a look at the two different sets of cards. So the first is the 22 theme cards. And these are the cards that explain the most common dream scenarios. So here we have house buildings. And each card has, of course, a number, the title, and then there is also um, some little questions or kind of what you could use as prompts on the bottom, which I think are really nice. So for house building, it says, what does the house or the rooms of the house represent to you? Is it an order or is it a mess? What state are you in? So I love that this really has like kind of some journal type prompts or at least some, some questions that you can think about um, when you're working with this deck. And I always really appreciate that in an oracle. So here we have death. And I do quite like the artwork in this deck. It's very modern um, and it's kind of feels like it would be kind of in line with my moon child um, type of decks, uh, but I think it is quite beautiful. So here we have water, flying or falling, body. I like in the reflection here in the background, you can see there's, um, the person being shattered. I think that's really interesting. We have sex, celebrations, social occasions, landscape and places, a lot of collaging going on. Definitely a, you know, digital collage type of deck or photo collage type of deck. We have weather and natural events, animals. I do quite like this animal card because I think the, the wolf's eyes there are just really powerful. And then we have the the other two here locked in horns. People, I do quite like this people card. I really like this imagery, how he's kind of like wrapped up in the lace. We don't really know who he is or what he's about. I just, I think that's really powerful. Games, spiritual guides. So it says, how would you like to be more spiritually connected? Do you have any unresolved issues from the past? What magical qualities do you wish to possess? So it's interesting prompts to think about there. School or exam, like we've all had that dream, right? You're going into the exam naked. I like this imagery too, I think it's really great. Oh, speaking of naked, here's the naked card. Possessions. Chased. So it says, what are you running away from? What is making you feel overwhelmed? What are you afraid of or unwilling to face? Great questions there. Birth and babies. I like that card too. It's pretty cute. Food. I really like the kind of snow white connotation to that. I think that's really lovely. Vehicles or car. Communication. Colors and numbers. I think that's it. So those are the dream cards. So the the symbols that we often see in our dreams, right? Um, I think we've probably all had dreams with every single one of these in them. So that's really quite interesting. 
So next we have the 30 reading cards that help you uncover those messages. So again, same kind of setup. We have the number, the keyword. And so for this one, instead of questions, we actually have like, like statements or maybe affirmations. So for trust, we have trust yourself and the universe plan for you. Do not give your trust to others lightly. When one door closes, another opens. I think that's a really lovely message. Here we have the goddess. Embrace the feminine, create and be gentle, nurturing yet strong. Do not listen to those who want to keep you small. Believe that you are as important as the stars in the heavens. I think that's quite beautiful. Here we have focus, wisdom. I feel like I've seen her face before on another duck. She looks very familiar. Flow, love her flowy dress there. When there's like a bird, a crane maybe in the background. It's quite lovely. Transformation. Journey. I like this card with the doors and it's like kind of totally my aesthetic, right? Really like that one. Action. Nature. Gaia. I like that card too. Courage and boldness. Love. Intuition. Prosperity. This is kind of interesting with the with the mirror, right? We often think of like prosperity in terms of like money, I think, in terms of um, you know, being being a, a prosperous person, but it says give and expect the universe to give back to you. Believe that you are prosperous already. Have gratitude for everything you have in life. So I think that's really interesting because it's really tapping into that idea of, of prosperity in more of a, a big picture sense rather than just prosperity as in, in as we tend to tie it into like say finances or money. Creativity, like that card, it is very creative. Leadership. Magic. Relationships, nurture, renewal, rebirth, gratitude, empowerment, very Mist of Avalon there for me, truth, play, that's a sweet card, surrender, Awakening, that's a very beautiful card, isn't it? Very calming, love that. Manifest, growth, that's an interesting card for growth. It's not normally the type of imagery I would associate with growth, so let's see what it says. Growth requires you to step out of your comfort zone. Growing pains can help you in gaining wisdom and experience. The old must be left behind before growing into the new. So I don't know that I really get a sense of growth out of that card, but I really, I quite like the, the sentiment behind it. Freedom. I do quite like that card. That's pretty awesome. Healing. That's a great one too. Heal past wounds with forgiveness and awareness. By healing yourself, you can become a healing force to others. Physical healing can happen once your wounds have been confronted. It's a great card. Connection with all the hands in the web around the world. That's really wonderful. Okay, so that's a look at the two different cards that we have here. And I am kind of assuming, because we're doing this unboxing together, that we're supposed to keep them separate. So let's talk, let's take a look at the guidebook. Um, this guidebook, I do have to say, like, Rockpool has the best books. I love their books. They're a great size. I love that they're full color. They're so beautifully designed. Just look at that. I just love Rockpool books. They do such a fantastic job with their books and their packaging. Okay, so how to read the dream cards. From the 22 dream cards, choose all the main images that you can recall from your dream and lay that out in front of you. That's really interesting. I love an oracle that has its kind of its own system, its own thing. I love that, that's great. You may choose a combination of the dream cards. For example, if you dreamed of driving a car out of control in a strange landscape, you would choose the vehicle car and landscape places cards. Read the definition in the booklet on the dream card for each image. Answer these questions. What has been going on for you in the last two weeks? If this is a reoccurring dream, what was similar in your waking life when you had this dream last time? 
For example, did you start a new job or were you stressed about traveling overseas? What was the main emotions associated with the dream? This feels more like a tactile workbook, which I am actually pretty dang excited about. There's even more. There's like four more questions here. So it's asking you to basically pull your cards and have an under get a kind of a base understanding of the of the dream. So then to use the oracle cards it says the oracle cards offer insight into the meaning of your dreams and how to action the dream, what to do about it, other than simply understanding what it means. So that's interesting, right? It's not just understanding it's what do I do about it now. Shuffle the oracle card deck. Think about the dream or ask a question as you shuffle and choose a card. Your subconscious mind will choose the most insightful message. Read the meaning from the oracle card and see the possibility and insights that it can offer. Now you will be able to take some action. So it says for a more comprehensive insight, you may wish to do a three card spread, choose three oracle cards. So you can do a past, present, future. So it's really asking you to just primarily pull one card for kind of like your what to do about it. It's kind of like an action card. And I think that's really interesting. And then let's see, the book goes into the general meaning of dreams. And then we hear, here we have about each of the cards. Um, so it has themes for each of the cards, talks about what that could mean in a dream, other buildings that you might see or other items that relate. Um, that's really lovely looks like the oracle cards have a kind of uh, maybe affirmation and then a little bit about each one kind of like um, an oracle message so that's kind of interesting so this is like granted I haven't used it we're just looking through it to now together but this is like a dream workshop in card form that's kind of awesome I kind of like that all right so let's just let's just pull it random Let's say we had a dream about being chased um, through the water, because why not? We were chased through the water. So now we're asked to, I guess, probably shuffle. So let's go ahead and shuffle these. Um, they're definitely oracle sized, but I can still riffle shuffle, which is always lovely. Um, might actually with just having 30, 30 or so cards just overhand probably be nice. So here is, we're having a dream about being chased through the water. I think we're supposed to look up first. Let me get my, get my ducks in a row here. So chased is, let's see what it says. 17. I like the numbers. That makes it really easy. So it says being chased represents those things that you are running away from. Being chased and or attacked is the most common anxiety dream reflecting your insecurities and the fears you have experienced in waking life. So it talks about different types of things that you might be trying to run away from. Um, different types of also dreams about being paralyzed. So it asks you to think about where you're feeling overwhelmed. Um... And consider what is making you feel vulnerable and not safe in your real life and whether you are able to escape the situation. So really, really quite interesting. There's a lot you could do just with this side of things, right? Just pulling these cards to help you kind of interpret your dreams. Um, I think that's really interesting. So for water, it says water represents your emotional, creative, and spiritual lives. If you are swimming in a dream, look at the surroundings. Is it a peaceful sea or lake? Are you trapped in rapids or are they ocean waves? How you cope in these situations will reflect your emotional dramas in real life. It goes down here, talks a little bit more about different types of water dreams. And it says, um, water is the greatest cleanser. Washing in dreams is about getting rid of emotional clutter and old belief system. It talks about falling in water and floods and, um, really interesting so whatever we're running away from is has like a spiritual or maybe emotional tie to it so then i guess we pull an oracle to determine what our action should be so i really love this because um you know i've had books about which we're, we're actually going to take a look at a book here in a second but i've had lots of books about like interpreting dreams 
And, you know, you just, you look up what you dreamed about and, and things of that nature so that you can kind of discover more about it. But I love that this takes it a step further. It really allows you to kind of um, dive deep into the symbolism of your dream. There's some great journaling prompts so you can really dive into what that means to you. And I love that it also has like, what do you do about it? Like it's got this, this, this whole, this whole selection of action cards basically in the Oracle here. So let's just pull a card. That one wants to flip out. So creativity. Well, that's just kind of a perfect one for me, right? Is it talking to me? I think it's talking to me. So creativity, that's what we need to do about it. So it says, take a risk if you are to lead a creative life. Invite creativity into your life. Create something new for yourself. So maybe we, you know, we're kind of running away from that creativity that's really going to let us explore our emotions and our um, kind of, you know, spiritual, emotional side of things that we really need to tap into that creativity. We need to be brave. We need to take creative risks. I love that. I really wish I could remember my dream from last night now. Um, I think this is really interesting because this is kind of a departure from our normal kind of just typical oracle, right? That we like maybe do a reading with or maybe pull at the end of a, of a tarot reading. This is its own thing. It's its own kind of system. You know, it kind of feels like like an interactive workshop, which I think is really kind of cool. Um, I'm actually really surprised. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm actually really surprised because I really just thought this was going to be just like um, another kind of, you know, regular kind of oracle. I mean, I think you totally could use it that way as well, right? You could totally just pull one of these cards at the end of a reading too. So it's kind of like dual function because you could pull an oracle, oracle card at the end of your reading. So you could use it in that respect in between, but you can also use it to explore your dreams and, and um, you know, what your subconscious is trying to tell you, which I was just reading that off the title of the book. <laughs> That's what my subconscious is trying to tell me. It's time to shift to the book now. The other thing that Rockpool also sent me, and I just wanted to kind of pop it in here because it does relate, is the actual book that goes along. Um, I don't, it's not, you don't need it. I don't think to, to work with the deck, but this is... Um, dreams what your subconscious wants to tell you um so it says we all dream that's a fact about one third of our lives are spent sleeping and dreaming our dreams are exhilarating terrifying moving and sometimes life-changing they offer us amazing insights into our health work life relationships and overall well-being but how do we remember our dreams how do we know when our dreams have a message for us and what do those dreams mean so it says in this book, it will help you recognize the most common dreams and dream archetypes, understand why we have reoccurring dreams and make sense of your nightmares, uncover the meaning behind dream symbols, identify the themes of sexual and romance dreams. So that's really interesting. Um, this I haven't actually dived into this book yet. I'm really excited to though because dream um, interpretation has been one of those things that I, I really kind of want to dive deeper into, but I haven't really found a really great source for that. And I feel like this might actually be it because I have this great book that has got all kinds of information, but then I also have like a, a practical application that I can use these cards for, which I think is really wonderful. So let's just take a quick peek through the contents. So we have, um, what do you need to know about your dreams? You know, why we dreams, the layer of layers of sub layers of consciousness, remembering your dreams. Um, so when dreams are a problem, so this talks about nightmares, dreams and gender, sex and romance. So it breaks down all the different types of dreams. So we have the 10 common dreams explained, children's dreams and nightmares. That's a good one. I have a kid who really does kind of struggle with nightmares and has for a very long time. So I'm actually quite interested to read that as well. So part two goes into intuition. So that's really interesting. The collective unconscious and archetypes, major archetypal characters in dream. So we have the divine child, the great mother, the wise old man or woman, the trickster, the damsel in distress, or the princess, the hero heroine. Um, and then we have, you know, death, grief and lost dreams, spiritual and parapsychological dreams, common spirit guides. That will be an interesting section, right? Uh, de deceased spiritual guides, ancestors, past lives, ascended masters, angels, animal spirits. There is so much in this book. Um, unfamiliar souls and spirits. And then we have application in part three, which is practical dream work. 
So steps to understanding your dreams, what to do if you can't remember your dreams, um, dream methods and techniques, and exploring your dreams further. And there's also a dream dictionary in the back, which is really cool. Um, and so this book, again, another kind of really beautifully produced book by Rockpool, um, really has just like a lot of information. Like, look at all this. This is kind of fantastic. I'm really excited to dive into this one. Um, here's our dream guide in the back, which is always wonderful. Um, yeah, this is really interesting. I, I could definitely see this. I don't think this is really like one that you really, I don't know that this is one that you'd really like sit and read all the way through, but I think it's more like a reference guide, which I think is really cool. So yeah, I'm really excited to dive into these um, wonderful cards to explore this book a little bit more. I think that this is going to be a wonderful exercise and something that um, you could, you know, work on consistently, right? You could record your dreams and then come back and maybe start a dream journal and do some work with these cards, pull out those symbol cards and see, you know, what symbols were in your dream, what key symbols were in your dream. And then, you know, pull these oracle, an oracle card to, to kind of help you determine how to how to make sense of it and what to do moving forward. I think that's really wonderful because from the little bit of dream work that I have done, it's usually like, here's what your dream means, right? Here's kind of a, a dream dictionary, so to speak, of look up the whale, what does that mean? Well, that's, that's great and it's great to know what it all means, but I love that this also has a component of, of like an action, like a step, something I can do about it, right? So I think that's really interesting and not something that we often see in an oracle, which I guess looking at this, like in no way does it actually say on the box, it's, it says the dream reading cards. Um, so I really like that, that it really has that kind of workshoppy feel to it. Like, I feel like I can do something with it. Um, I feel like I could take, you know, look through these cards and pull out my, you know, my dream symbols and then, you know, explore that between these two books for sure. I mean, I don't think you'd necessarily need this one, but if you are into dreams, I think this is probably going to be a really wonderful resource. Um, and definitely, you know, if you're, if you're doing dream work. I think that'd be really wonderful and then you know pull out you know what's the action what can you do about it what's the next step and I think that's really kind of wonderful there is so much journaling potential and goodness here that I'm just I'm actually really excited about it so um wonderful little deck I um I do quite like the artwork um some of it I'm going to be perfectly honest is a little like I mean I guess that's the sex card but it's a little romance romance covery novel for me um but I do, for the most part, I do like it. This this is usually not my style of artwork, but I think it actually works pretty well in this particular deck. And I think the more modern imagery actually works pretty well in this particular deck. Um, I don't know about you, but I don't often have dreams that like take place in other time frames. So I, for me, having a more modern deck actually works really well because that really more coincides with how I dream. So that is a look at the dream reading cards. And a little quick peek at the dreams book, What Your Subconscious Wants to Tell You um, by Rose Inesara. Inesara, I apologize if I mispronounced that. Um, these are both available by Rockpool Publishing. Again, Rockpool Publishing just has has wonderful quality in, in their products. So I'm really happy to get a chance to, to work with these. And I will definitely let you all know how these work out for me because I fully intend to make use of them. Thank you for joining me today. You will find links for the decks featured here in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video and will join me again soon for more creative tarot for an inspired life.